Hey everyone, Corus here. Welcome in this video in which we will be talking about fusion in general a bit and then I'll be uh, finally fusing my Rally Keeper, something I've been looking forward to uh, ever since I started uh, this journey to get the uh, Rally Keeper a couple of weeks ago. I think it's been my main target in the game now for the last uh, two weeks or so. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's dive into fusion, how it, how it works in general. Uh, then I will give you some advice on how I... Uh, how I processed, uh, how I progressed, uh, made the progress uh, towards getting all the heroes, uh, required heroes, all the requirements for the fusion. Um, and after that, I will be finally fusing the Relic Keeper. So, first off, if you're wondering Corvus Fusion, well, what is all about? This is all about. Now, if you go to Portal, um, you've been here a lot of times, most probably uh, opening the shards. But if you have a, take a close look on the right side, you see there Summon which is the, the screen we're now on, but the tap below that, the button below that, Fusion, you have to press that one, and then you get uh, to this screen. Now, there's only currently one option uh, for a hero to be fused, it's the Relic Keeper. In the past there have been two other heroes here, um, one being the St. Patrick's Day special, I just forgot his name currently, but I have a video on that, will be on the screen uh, currently. Uh, and another hero that has been here um, just when I started the game, it was in, in January, February, there was some kind of uh, Nicholas figure here, uh, so a guy with a beard, we can um, try to look that up in the ch uh, I'm going to do that, take up some time. Um, anyway, you can, can look up these heroes in the, in the champions roster, but anyway, this is the fusion screen, now how this works is you have these heroes here, so there are currently uh, eight portraits here in the grey. Um, so you have two options here, first of all you can go uh, fusing the War Maiden, so having the War Maiden, Diabolist, Spirit Host and finally the Harris here, you can fuse all these four into the Justice Yard, this looks a bit different because I have them now, so the heroes that you have that meet the requirements so they have to be these have to be, the lower ones have to be level 30 with three um, purple stars. So you, if you don't have the Justice Yard, what you have to do uh, is go and farm these four heroes here on the bottom left. And after that you can fuse them uh, into the Justice Yard. So the Justice Yard, I, I pulled him from, uh, from an, uh, a Void Shard pretty uh, early on. It was, I think, the first Void Shard that I opened had him, but... That was in my first few days that I was playing the game um, and I made the mistake of uh, sacrificing this guy to rank up another hero. So uh, rare heroes, always best to hang on to them, never sacrifice them if you have the room. Um, yeah, because uh, yeah, it could have saved me a lot of time here. Uh, so I didn't have a Justice Shard to begin with, so what I had to do is, is uh, farm those uh, bottom left four uh, female heroes first. Um, so how I approach this, the, the, the good thing about this is that the, all these heroes, every single one of these, these heroes on the screen are farmable. So you don't have to uh, pray, to the, pray to the RNG gods that you pull one of those from a shard, which is of course possible as you can see on the bottom. So if you press the portrait here on the war main, for example, you see um, where this champion can be acquired from. So it can be acquired from an ancient shard, the mystery shard, and of course, as you all know, it's, it's uh, especially from a mystery shard. Uh, there's a few percent chance to get a rare one and the chance of getting just like this one that you need, the War Maiden, is, is, is even slimmer. Um, so the best approach here is to start farming uh, the, the campaign levels uh, where you can get these uh, these champions. So in this case it's the Deadlands. Um, if you press this then you will be taken to the Deadlands. And as you can see on the left side you see several uh, smaller hero portraits and one of those you can get two rare heroes from uh, from this particular uh, level um, you can uh, get one of those is the, is the war maiden uh, so when I made the decision to start farming the heroes for the, the fusion of the relic keeper I already had uh, the spirit the spirit host, no, the diabolist and the spirit host I already had those already at level 30 even uh, so these were heroes that I got quite early in the game just what I had to do was just uh, uh, send them to 
uh, to get three purple stars instead you do not know what ascending means this is in a tavern where you can convert yellow stars um, into purple ones so at the right side you have these four buttons the bottom one is called ascend and you need potions for this uh, so you can ascend um, ascend the hero so turn these yellow stars into purple stars and make them even uh, more powerful but uh, this is the, the entire process of, of ascension I will not show here is something for a, a separate video uh, so in any way this was basically what, what took up the most time especially the war maiden um, as you can see if we return to the deadlands there is another like I said there is another uh, rare hero which you can farm here the berserker um, I got this one two times uh, before I got the War Maiden. Um, so I think in total for this particular level, I think I did yeah, something about two or three hundred runs uh, after I finally got got the, the War Maiden. Uh, and after that, I started farming the next one. So I needed the Harris from the Palace of Arabia, and I think yeah, it took me. Also about 100 uh, runs to get finally get this champion. So then I had to level them up to 30, which uh, leveling up to 30 is not that big of a deal. So after that, I decided to fuse them into the Justice Shard. Uh, this was done earlier this week, so I have a separate video on that, which I will be showing you now. It's a short clip where I will be fusing uh, these heroes. So see you in a minute. So that was the fusion process of the Justice Shard, uh, about which we will talk about uh, just a bit later uh, in this video. Um, so the other heroes, I was already lucky to have these as well. I had the this uh, knight guy, got his name. I can't display it now. Maybe if I press a bit longer, no. Um, so I had this guy, and then these, and I was lucky enough to get an executioner from one of the first uh, shards I ever opened. As you can see on the left, I have two uh, in my inventory currently. Um, and I also got, uh, when I first started farming him, I think I got another executioner uh, from the, the level where you can farm, in, farm him. Uh, after, yeah, I think about 10 runs, I got another executioner. So it's easy to level a strong guy up like this, very easy to level him up. Um, bring him to 40. For purple stars and I had to do the same for the knight and for uh, this lady here uh, which was quite easy so I had this done before I got the, the four others so I used these to farm the other ones uh, to, to level them up quicker so then I got all these except the justice shard and I think the justice shard took me uh, two days to get him up to 40 uh, with the four uh, for ascension stars for purple stars so I save I've been saving up on um, on Bruce, XP Bruce, Void XP Bruce, uh, since I don't have that many uh, Void heroes, I've been saving up on these, I think I spent yeah, 20 or something in total, I still have a bunch left um, in stock, so I think in total, I, I, yeah, it was basically a mix of a bunch of XP Bruce, I think 20 or so, um, and then doing some, some grinding with him, uh, and the process was pretty painless, was pretty quick, because of the, the Bruce, and also the potions to ascend him, uh, um, I haven't ascended uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, a void hero yet, so I had, had everything in stock. Um, so yeah, that's how I approached this. I think when I first saw this, uh, this screen, this fusion screen, I was like, whoa, this is really, really high end, high level uh, end game content. But actually it's pretty okay if you are looking for a good... Um, good epic hero then I can really recommend this it is a great goal a very rewarding goal in the game 
the relic keeper itself we can briefly uh, have a look at him um, so especially this one when I first encountered this guy a strong version of this guy in the arena I was really baffled so basically what this guy does is he attacks one enemy and if this enemy dies then he gets an extra turn so if you can one shot enemies then you can really uh, solo content very easily uh, think about other content like uh, uh, the spiders then etc uh, so if you can uh, one shot your enemies then this guy is really really great especially with this skill and there are other skills here as well uh, the surging strength so 25 percent increase attack buff on its on himself for four turns and then also gets another uh, gets another uh, turn so usually with these uh, with these self buffs or other buffs you have the buff but then your turn is over there's no more attack but this guy can buff and he can attack um, and then his sanity skill already at three um, three purple stars uh, you get another bonus 25% bonus added there so 50% in total increase attack buff on the champion uh, and then also the leveling up this skill uh, immediately decreases the cooldown which is also cool and then there's a passive skill I really like passive skills uh, Aegis Endurance, so what he do what this does is when hit by an enemy, place 15% continuous heal buff on this champion so self healing is so strong in this game um, and this guy has it okay, now I was, was um, wondering this these 5 turns um, cooldown when hit, oh yeah yeah, now I understand this is a passive, but when he is hit then the cooldown starts, so we can do this once every 5 turns yeah, now I understand Okay, um, never really paid attention to this, there are probably other heroes in the game with the same ability, but uh, first time I pay some attention to this. Uh, and then there's an, an uh, aura, so yeah, this is really, really uh, a campaign grinding machine, this guy. Ally attack increased by 40% in all campaign battles, uh, which is pretty cool. So enough talk I think now I'm very very excited to finally fuse this guy start leveling him up there will be probably be some uh, high-end attack gear on him since let's open this one again I wasn't really paying attention there will be uh, there's increased attack so only the first skill is based on attack so yeah just going full out attack on him um, I think that's uh, that's the most logical choice here so, again, like I already said, the champions which re meet the requirement have this red dot on them. So I have all four now, so let's start with Justice Shard. If you press him, if you do not own him, then the screen opens like we saw earlier, where you can farm them. If you own them, then this screen pops up so I can select him. And it's no longer grayed out, which I already did for the, for the night guy. And now the fuse button is enabled. I am very excited now, so let's do this. Yes, this costs silver as well, <laughs> something that I forgot to mention, 300,000. And here he is, wow, very happy with him. Very, very happy with him. Really start, uh, probably put some uh, red bruise, red XP bruise on him. And uh, get him rolling as fast, as, uh, as quickly as possible. Put some gear on him. I'm really looking forward to leveling up this guy, trying him out in the arena in several uh, campaigns, trying to solo stuff. Uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to uh, putting some time and effort in this guy. Very happy now. So that's all for this video. Um, I hope this was a source of inspiration for you to go for the Relic Keeper as well, or any of the other uh, fusion heroes. Uh, the advice I can give you is... is yeah, don't get scared off by the requirements, it is easy, it is a very, very rewarding game, every very rewarding goal in this game, I mean, um, you should really, really go for it if you're looking for an excellent epic uh, hero. So that's all for this video, hope you liked it, please remember to become a subscriber if you haven't done already, uh, please press the like button as well, it really helps out uh, the channel and the videos, uh, have a great rest of the day, see you in the next video, bye!